Terrible fools! You face more! Right hand of his imperiousness, Lord Sarkar! He's a... He's just a little fella. Huh? Prepare yourselves for utter destruction! Oh, this guy is toast! Show those Gaura fools who they're messing with. Alright, so you gotta grab your levers. Push them forward. Yep. Watch out for the asteroid. Oh, I got you. Dang it. Three, you see where that is on the ship? Press the flashing button to engage the target system. Okay, I guess you gotta push it. Where is the button? Look around for a button. Oh, this button. There you go. And put it there, yep. What the? All my systems are freaking out over here. I'm reading massive code intrusion throughout the Blue Lion's operating systems. I've never seen anything like this before. Lance, your only chance to override whatever's happening to your lion is to reroute your weapon systems manually. And hurry! That cannon's gonna recharge any minute now! We'll take care of the fighters and buy you some time. Thanks, guys. So, what's the deal with this thing? Those octagonal rods are power nodes. You can redirect power through the grid by pressing them. Got it! Hold well, on, I think you gotta push. Alright, so push the red one on the right. This one? The bottom down. This one. Yeah, see that one's flashing a little bit? No, up on the, onto the right. See the power grid for the blue lion? This one. You need one. to route energy through it to reactivate your weapons. Like the, the circle, the little dot. This one? Yeah. No! Well, look at Look around, be patient. Explore the corrupted areas by tapping nearby nodes. Alright, so tap the blue one that's lit up on the far right. Way over to the right. There's right? One. The blue one. So this nope, is the nope. Power grip for the weapon system. No, that one that's flashing a lot. The one that's flashing a lot. Left. Look left. Left. That one. The blue one. Ooh, yeah, you gotta drag it. Surround the corrupted areas by tapping nearby nodes. Yep, now drag it across. To the other one. Alright, good job. Alright, now drag it across again. Yep, and drag it to the side. You can go from the middle, you don't have to go there. That 
Go back up where you were. Yep. Now drag that over. Now drag it up. Now drag it up. Drag it up. Start from the bottom and go down. Yep. Now push that one that's flashing. Oh, you gotta drag it up now. Oh, there you go. And then drag it across. Nope, nope, down. See, you gotta follow the track. Go in the middle. Yep. Now you gotta go up and down. Oh, you got it. Good job. Yes! Weapons are back online. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Now, how about you take care of that cruiser? You get it, buddy. Oh, you grab your levers. communications with both the Black and Red Paladins, but so far, all efforts to contact them have failed. Wait, I was not paying attention. What's going on? <sighs> we detected two distress signals, remember? You three were set to investigate the signal in the Ditra system, while Shiro and Keith went to check out the one detected in the Urbara system. Shiro reported that they had traced their signal to an uninhabited desert planet on its outermost belt. I'm going to open a wormhole for you to that position now. I need to open a wormhole for the paladins. Well, that was cool, huh? Yeah, now you're that lady. Wait, something's wrong. I saw a ring symbol. Who's that? What's going on? It appears to be the same intrusion that shut down the Blue Lion. It somehow made its way to the castle systems. It's corrupting the star map. I can't open the wormhole. How in blazes did it get on board? The lines in the castle are all connected on a subdimensional level. Is it possible that it somehow made its way from the blue line to the castle systems? It would take a level of technological understanding far beyond anything we're currently capable of, but I suppose from a theoretical standpoint it is possible, just highly, highly unlikely. Well, this is all your fault, Lance, as usual. Hey! supposed to know this is going to happen. Gentlemen, this is not the time to blame one another. Yeah! That can come later, once the crisis has been dealt with. Oh. Uh, hmm. Right now, I need to try and purge this intrusion from the castle systems, if we have any hope of reaching Shiro and Keith. If I point towards an infected sector, it should display its diagnostic panel. looks out of place, give it a tap to shift its alignment.
So there's one that's flashing on the right. I thought it was. Yeah. All right, here's. Just hold on. Stay back and look. You gotta figure out the puzzle. You got it down. I think that's the way it goes. All right, so now now. Wow, it's so black. Oh, hmm. Okay. Some of the data nodes. I know are now two of them are black. Wait, I did. We're supposed to get the blue one. Oh, okay. Look at that. You have to you have to do them all like start at the left. See, the left one has a blue one. There you go. How about try this? Make all of the blue sides point at that little red box. So oh, tap them. Oh, oh, we got a blue one on that one. You, okay, so, so you got a blue one there. So now do tap the one at the bottom to see if you can get a blue one. Oh, no, so now this is the last one. Do the last one and get the blue. All right, so they do all have a blue side. But that's not it. All right, so point, yeah, so get it so the blue ones are pointing at the red blocks. You see what I'm saying? Like, so tap, pick one. Tap. Stop. Now go to do another one. Stop. Oh, keep going. Again. Stop. Now do the other one. There you go. All right, now you got you got to do that one. So now the ones that the one that's still red, pick one of the ones that has blue on top. Yep. Tap. Tap. The first sector has been cleared of the intrusion. Epic. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta make the blue point of the red stuff. You think you can do this one? Hmm. If, if you don't find a blue one right away, just tap different ones until you find one. Trying to draw ones. Just try starting on the far left. That seemed to work last time. This one? Yep. This one. I need to align all the data. There you go. Okay, so again, make it make all the blue ones point at the thing. No, 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 they don't even point up, they need to point at the block. There you go. I get the other one to point. Yep, oh, too much. There you go. I get the bottom one. I think at the beginning they don't give you, not that one, the other one. To the left. You got one on the bottom that's not pointing at the block. Left. Look left. That's right. Down. You see how you don't have, see how there's a blue one that's not pointing at the red block? Yep. One more time. Boom. All right, now you go to the next one. How's it going over there? Did you uh, align those data nodes yet? Oh, you see, you got a balloon over there on the right. Go ahead and do that one now. Oh, that one was actually okay. Oh, too far. Again. Yep. Now go to the one that's right there next to it. Not that one. Nope. Up. This one? That's fine. Stop. Now go to the one on the left. The one that's right to the left of where you were. You're doing one red block at a time. No. Up. See how that one's not on the same in the same spot? So the one that's top row, second from the right. If you tap a node, you can change its position. Row second from the right. It's one C. Can you find one C? This one? No. Row one. Where's row one? This one. Right. Now which one if, if you used to go from left to right and start A B C, which one's C? This 
I can't see where you're pointing because you're not looking at it. Yes. Boom. All right, now look down a little bit more. All right, yeah, you can go and do that one that's on the left. Yep. Yep. And you got one more down there at the bottom. Yep. Now you got it. Oh, too far. And, oh, too far. Yep. And then one more. Just one more. Alright, you can do this one on your own. You get the idea? I don't think it gives you the blue right away. I think there's a way to figure it out without the blue. But we can just wait for the blue. If you look at the symbols, you can get all the symbols to point at the things without the colors. But that's kind of hard. There, I right, stop. Now go to row 2B. Let's see. Yep. Tap. Tap. Stop. And then go to row uh, 3A. 3A. So row 3, the bottom row, the first one. Data nodes are aligned. You should see its energy core turn back on. Yeah, it's hard to do that. Okay, so you got some blue ones there. Once they're blue, it's easier. Yeah, you got it. you try to do it with just red and then it gives you blue. Right, you got one at the very bottom. And you don't have the reds yet. So if you look, it's got the same symbols on the top. There, like that. And No, not that one. It's got the same, if you look at the ones where you've already done it, it's the same symbols are on the top and then the same symbols are pointing at the thing. Oh, you undid it. You gotta fix that one back. Okay, good. Now go down, look down. No, it'll, they'll come up blue in a minute. Just be patient. Hmm. Some of the data nodes look this alive. If you tap a note, there you go. You can change See, it. Just be patient. There you go. Well done, princess. You did a good job, big guy. Now I can open up a wormhole. Now that that has been dealt with, let's get that wormhole open. I hope we're not too late to save Shiro Keith. 